Hey there Bixby developers. Today I'm going to go over some useful features in Bixby Studio. And the features we're going to be going through today are the new capsules from Sample Capsules, as well as the fairly somewhat new simulator audio player. So now you can control the audio player and have certain audio playback options. And last but not least, we're going to demonstrate the document search as well, which is now baked into the IDE. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new capsule from sample. And all you have to do is click on this thing up here and here is the drop down that says create capsule from sample. Give that a click and today we're going to be creating the audio sample capsule. So here we have example.meow and I'm just going to rename this as underscore sample or you know you can name this whatever you want and create local copy. So what this does is that it actually downloads the capsule from the proper GitHub repository and then adds it into your workspace right here. And you can see here that it's creating a local copy for the audio capsule. And there it is. So just like this, we have downloaded pretty much a simple working capsule, working sample capsule. And in this case, it will be demonstrating the audio uh, functionality for it. So we're going to switch from my copycat capsule over to the example meow sample capsule. And we're just going to type in start. Here's what I found. And you can see how it is now playing cat sounds, meow sounds. And what's interesting about this now is that if you've been you know, developing for Bixby for a while and you've been using um, you know, these types of audio stream files, then you'll notice that this is actually brand new, this audio player right here. And you can click play, you can rewind this 15 seconds. So this is back to the beginning. We can see here that this clip is eight seconds long. You can even loop it. You can fast forward. And this loop with a one means that it's just replaying this same track over and over. But this capsule actually has multiple tracks. You can see there, we move to the next track. And I highly recommend giving this a try if you're going to be integrating some audio streams into your capsule. So just let's take a quick look at the code. We can see here that this is how it is streamed. Right here we have the URL stream format. And I'm sure we pass it into the proper model meow audio model so we just grab the role of audio player audio item and I believe that this is what the this object is mapped to audio items yeah we can see here that this outputs a meow audio and each of these should be each of these objects inside of this should be a meow audio and I believe that it will accept multiple of these meow audios in this situation. So yes, that's just, you know, the rough structure of it. That way you can you know, display it properly. You have the title, you have the subtitle right here. You even have the artist, which yeah, I don't think it's displaying here, but you know, it's there. It's, uh, it's got the information and you have the URL most importantly, which is an audio stream that plays the 1901st meow audio uh, right here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to showcase is the show documentation search. So you can just right here, if you click on this little icon on the left here, you have options to immediately hop to the documentation. And it will just take you straight to the home page for the documentation. But more interestingly, you can actually search for stuff like right here, we have the audio control now. And just simply by clicking on it, we can now see the audio control component. And it even actually has the, um, this uh, little UI thing that you can play around with, with, which I actually didn't even know about, which is really cool. And you can even change, you can mess with the UI a bit and you can look at the code as well. But right here, um, just like that, you can search for the proper audio things or you know just the proper stuff in the documentation super quickly just by using the built-in documentation search right here and this is you know exceptionally useful for for example result views if you need to find stuff in relation to building a good looking result view here it is 
everything is now just a click away from searching the documentation, which in my opinion is very, very useful. So yeah, that wraps up today's quick little tutorial video, just showcasing some of the, I guess, newer things in Bixby Studio, as well as just some very nice quality of life things for you to know when building your capsule for Bixby. And yeah, that's it.